Hello, today we'll be going over the Jobs tab. Jobs were created for managing specific lists of actions according to established schedules. The major difference between jobs and notifications is that notifications require certain conditions to be met, but in jobs, the only condition is the schedule. To learn more about notifications, watch the video following the link above. On the working panel, you can create a new job, find an existing one, switch it on or off, edit, copy, or delete it. Please note that all of these options will only be available if you have the appropriate access rights. Also, you can activate a test job execution, which means you can activate this particular job despite the established schedule. In the following column, you can find the total amount of activations for the job. If you establish the maximum amount of triggers in the job settings, you will see this information in the following column. To see how a job actually works, let's create a new one. There are several types to choose from. Execute a command over units, change access to units, send a report by email, send fuel information by email or SMS. The remaining three job types are connected with counters, which are in the unit's properties on the general tab. It serves to calculate mileage, engine hours, and GPRS traffic on the system side, and to save the data in the messages afterwards. In some common cases, these types of jobs could be really useful. We're going to select the most common type to explore it in more detail, sending a report by email. In the settings of this job type, you might choose a resource where the needed report is located, and of course the template which was created in advance. Then you choose the file format in which the information is going to be sent, as well as some additional options. I will choose the PDF format. You can apply a page orientation if you like. You can apply additional options below, for example, to compress report files to make the downloading of the report faster. Also, you can establish the displaying of charts for a particular period of time on a single page. It is necessary to establish the time interval for which the report should be activated. To learn how to do it properly, you can watch the video following the link above. If you would like to set the job for executing a report daily, then it is really convenient to establish the interval for a previous day. And if the report should be executed weekly, the interval might be for a previous week. Select whether you would like to export the report file or archive, or to receive a link for the report. And of course, you need to insert the recipient's email address. Please note that you can include multiple recipients. On the next page, you can choose a unit or a group of units for which this job is dedicated. In our case, this is the unit about which I would like to receive the report. The final page is necessary for establishing the schedule of the job activation. This page is the same for each type of job. Type the name in the description if you like. Define the schedule for when the report should be sent to the email we have already established. You can set it to trigger every several hours, like every 24 hours for instance, or you can specify the exact time below, at 12 o'clock for example. According to this setting, the report will be sent at 12 o'clock daily. To make the job activate not every day but weekly, click on the time limitation icon, move to the weekdays tab, and choose the day you like. You can also specify the month or the particular day in that same way. The activation time is relevant to apply if you would like the job to start working not at the moment of its creation, but later, although it will be activated on the day you establish over here. If the report should be sent with the help of the job a specific number of times, seven for instance, you can type this number on the maximum execution field. In this example, the job will be activated only seven times and then deactivated. The Enabled checkbox is the same as the Activated Deactivated icon in the Working Area. Save the settings. The created job will be displayed in the Working Area. Though the Enabled checkbox was activated, the job is already active. Thanks for watching. If you would like to learn more about the platform, please see the other videos on our channel. Good luck.